Hey ladies, so in this section we are talking about your bridesmaid's attire. So I would strongly recommend picking out your bridesmaid's dresses several months way before your wedding. That way you give them plenty of time to order it and then get fitted with alterations as well. Plus, let's be really considerate of our bridesmaids because there are many extra expenses that go into being a bridesmaid in a wedding. So not only are you paying for a bridesmaid's dress, but you're also helping contribute towards the bridal shower for the bride and the bachelorette party and then the wedding gift for the bride and groom. There are just so many extra expenses that go into being a bridesmaid. And so be very considerate for your bridesmaids. And if you can help it, spread out those expenses over a significant period of time. They may be even traveling long distances to go to your bachelorette party or to go to your wedding. So it all adds up. So I definitely recommend picking out your bridesmaids dresses way far in advance prior to your wedding. Um, like I said, it gives them a lot more time to get in for alterations as well. And so how do you pick out a bridesmaids dress? You have to first look through ideas, maybe on Pinterest or Google images and see what you lean towards. But at the bridal store, you can always ask those dress consultants for ideas and what, is, what are the best sellers? You can always ask them that. So one option you can do for bridesmaids dresses is that you can have the same color of dress, but different styles. Now, what do I mean by that? All of our body types are incredibly different and that's awesome. So when you have several different bridesmaids, everyone is going to be very different. Everyone's going to have different body types. Therefore, the same style of dress is not going to look the same on everyone. It might not even be flattering on some of your bridesmaids. And of course you want your bridesmaids to feel beautiful. Absolutely. So this is a great option if you have different style options available for bridesmaids. That way everyone feels beautiful. So multiple designs, but same color and fabric and lots of designers, they have that option, which is so cool. So you know, beyond a shadow of a doubt that those bridesmaids dresses are going to in fact be the same color, the same fabric. So that's a guarantee. Another idea you could do is you could tell your bridesmaids that your dresses are going to be this color and then your bridesmaids have freedom to go out and find dresses that are that color, but the dress that they pick is going to be different from everyone else's because that's the one that they found. Now, this can get tricky because you may absolutely hate the dresses that some of your bridesmaids pick out, but that is the risk in this. You can put in a prerequisite that they would have to run it by you and that you'd have to give them the okay. But that is something that you can do if you're like, hey, my color is lavender. And you maybe send them a picture of the exact shade of lavender that you're thinking and say, have at it, find a bridesmaid's dress in this color, run it by me, and if I okay it, then you're good to go. A perk to that would be you know that they like that dress because they picked it out, and it may be something that they could reuse in the future, which is really awesome. Yet another idea for bridesmaids dresses is you could go with a color scheme. I've seen many different color schemes done before. One that I thought was actually really pretty was like a baby pink, a light sky blue, and then a lavender. And she had a large wedding party and there was a mix of all of those colors amongst her many bridesmaids and it looked really nice. It looked really pretty. So the only detail you'd want to be sure of is that there is a certain amount of girls in each color. So you don't want one pink and everyone else is in blue or lavender, like that'd be awkward. So maybe make sure that there's three, three and three if you have a large bridal party. Um, other details that you need to be aware of is that obviously bridesmaids dresses that are longer, long length, full length 
dresses are going to cost more than shorter bridesmaids dresses. I do think that long full length bridesmaids dresses are more common. Obviously they will be more expensive. I have seen bridesmaids dresses between $70 and $200. So there is a wide range of price differences for bridesmaids dresses. Um, so just be aware of that. Obviously in the section that we talked about with wedding dresses, we learned that there are sometimes discounts at these shops. If you buy your wedding dress at that shop, they may offer a discount for subsequent bridesmaids dresses that are purchased there. I've seen those discounts range from like 15% to 20% off. So obviously if your bridesmaids dresses are $150, 15 to 20% off is nice. So just be aware of that. There's a wide range of prices for bridesmaids dresses. Try not to go like super extreme if you know that your bridesmaids may not have a lot of extra money. So just be conscious of that. Something you can also think about is, does this color that I'm picking out go with the theme of my wedding? Um, you don't want to do something totally off the wall that doesn't even fit with your decorations. And you also may even want to think about your venue that you will be getting married at. So I've seen churches with bright red carpet, like that was the theme. So that might look really awkward if you have like green dresses because then it would look like Christmas. Uh, so that's just something to think about. It might clash. So even though that is hard to accept that maybe your favorite color clashes with the decorations of the church, just be aware that it might not be aesthetically, visually pleasing. If you're okay with that, move ahead. But if you're going to regret that in wedding photos, maybe pick a different color. <laughs> Um, also make sure that your groom approves of the color that you're picking. If he is totally dead set against having pink dresses and his groomsmen and ushers having pink this, then pick a different color for him. Like this is his day also, not just yours. So negotiate and find a color that you're both happy with. Now our color that we did for our wedding was a royal blue. It was beautiful. It was flattering on everyone and I would pick that color all over again. I love blue. James's favorite color is royal blue also. So it was a great choice. Some colors um, I would say struggle to complement different skin tones. I won't list those because I want you to make the choice that you want to make but just know that certain colors um, maybe aren't the best for certain skin tones. So just do your research, think about your bridesmaids, think about what will flatter them also um, because they are spending money on this dress for you. So some dresses have pockets in them. The dresses that I picked out for my bridesmaids, they had pockets and it was a huge hit because bridesmaids often maybe want to have their phones at the wedding reception or have a lip gloss and it's so nice or a car key or something to be able to put it in their pocket at the wedding reception. That way they're not subconsciously worried about setting their items or belongings down somewhere and having them getting stolen. That would not be fun. Dresses that have pockets are becoming more and more popular and widely available. It was a good decision, so that was a winning option. Continuing on with bridesmaids attire, you will have to decide and let your bridesmaids know what type of shoes you want them to wear. So are you opting for flats? Are you opting for sandals? Are you opting for heels? Now here's another question. Do you want all of your bridesmaids to have the same matching shoes? Or do you want to just pick a certain color of shoe and let them choose the style? So you could say, I want everyone to wear silver heels and everyone might pick a different style of heel. Some might be comfortable with an inch heel. Some might be comfortable with stilettos. <laughs> Once again, you could ask them to run their decision by you so you can approve. Um, you could also say, hey, I want everyone to wear skin toned 
shoes, like nude color shoes, um, and then everyone can find what they like. That way, when they're spending money on shoes, you know that they'll wear them again. That's really nice. Also, for bridesmaids attire, I would even lump in the nails. <laughs> so are you planning on getting nails done together with your bridesmaids, or are they going to do their nails on their own? If they are doing nails on their own, I would highly suggest telling them um, a certain nail polish color that you would allow. I've seen some bridesmaids that have wild acrylic nails that are like bright lime green and totally just stands out like a sore thumb, does not match the bridesmaid's dress. So maybe ask them to do like a French tip or neutral colors only and set some boundaries and some guidelines. So that is just a fair warning. <laughs> also for your bridesmaids, a great gift idea that you could get them is matching earrings. So that is a great gift. Obviously you would want, you would want their earrings to match anyway. So that's a great gift for them to thank them for being a bridesmaid for you. And one factor you need to think about though is does everyone have their ears pierced? Because there are some styles of earrings that do not have clip-on options. So do your best to find an earring. Well, first take inventory. If everyone has their ears pierced, then that's not a big deal. But if one of your bridesmaids does not have her ears pierced, then you have to find a style of earring that has the matching style in both regular earrings and clip-on options. So be aware of that. But when you're picking out bridesmaids attire, please pick out something pretty. Don't have that mentality of brides in movies that are like, well, I want to stand out, so I'm going to make my bridesmaids wear something that's not very flattering. That's obviously, hopefully not your mentality. Like pick out something that your bridesmaids will love, that's modern, that's trendy, that makes them feel beautiful. And if it's something that they can use for an event in the future, that's even better because they are investing their own money into purchasing these items. And of course you want them to feel confident as well. So hopefully this helps, gives you some ideas on bridesmaids dresses. If you have not already picked out your bridesmaids dresses, get on that right away. It really helps them to have more time because they have busy lives also and they'll have to make an effort to order the dress and get in for alterations as well. So just be considerate of them, make their lives easier too because they are going to help make your life really easy as well throughout this whole wedding planning process. So thank you for watching. Please continue on to the next section.